carving these block prints um, I might live stream that uh, I'm not sure yet but yeah so today let me go ahead and show you these so what you guys are gonna be seeing today are are the processes I took as far as the block prints um, the prints and then you'll see some of the other things that I did down in there but the actual process you know starts with uh, like I said these were block printed so the actual process started with blank sh blank canvases blank uh, block print pads so these were like this on both sides um, these are actually black because they already been rolled in ink and stamped as you know you've seen the finished product of you know this one it's star Giza um, Stonehenge a night at Stonehenge and the Great Wall so those are the three that are currently um, listed they're not even listed sorry those are the three currently in the collection the fourth one like I said I'll be showing you I'll show you I'll be showing you guys actually me rec uh, creating it but for now I'll just explain this to you so like I said these were the block prints I started with they were like this on both sides and the way that I actually created this was obviously you know I drew on here with the pencil on, on a blanks on a blank uh, pad and I really like these ones these these rubber ones I'm gonna be doing the next one on these which ain't that bad they actually carved pretty decent so uh, that's that's just the nature of what's gonna happen next on these ones it's gonna be for the fourth project and, and then we'll stamp that but these ones like I said were so what I did to create these were um, I actually you know I drew on here with pencil and then I all the parts that you see on here that are black from the ink that I rolled it in were actually shaded in with uh, with the pencil so I knew not to carve that that's how I do my process so all these dark parts on here are the parts that are sticking up that will actually make the stamp and and um, so to make it easier just color in all the parts that you actually want to be the stamp that way when you're carving it you don't get confused but then you can also see that um, I didn't like fully carve everything you can see these other black marks that have the the ink on them uh, you know I kind of left that for character just to add more character to it so you see a lot of this on, on you know on all of them but you know so that's just how I did I wanted to add a little extra character to it um, and by no means is this perfect and I think that's the beauty of it uh, with all these pieces they're so unique um, you know you would have to <laughs> have to make the same you know carve one just exactly the same to get the same you know same thing so they're, they're pretty unique in that sense and that's what I love about them uh, so I'll go ahead and we'll start with that one like I said the next ones will be on this I'll show you guys that later we'll start with so you guys can actually see so I, I think what I did was I used to this one to actually Put it in my Photoshop layer and you guys will see that in a second as well but so you know the basis of it after you get it carved you do everything and I'm sorry I should you know the thing I'll show you guys some of the tools that I use super simple tool I think I bought from like Hobby Lobby or something you know you just carve it um, I'll show you a little example of that on the back so you know you just do a little wherever you're trying to pick it out you can see it carving in there and it's pretty it's super simple fairly easy to do that on these and on the, the other one I showed you so it's you know this is how you would start to carve it and it does come with with different tips uh, depending on the length and, and shape of the things that you you know you might want to do sorry I was out of focus there but uh so you know you just stick them in there pretty pretty easy straightforward it's fun I love it so you know essentially you have the block print that you you carve you you would then uh, you know that comes with a little tray that you would roll in you would dump ink in and then you would roll this in the tray to get ink all over it and then you, you roll it across you know and you get the ink on there and the next thing you would do and remember this when you guys are drawing uh, that everything will kind of be reversed which is I guess it doesn't matter because depending on what you're, you're gonna use it for in Photoshop I can you know always flip it horizontally horizontally or vertically so in, in my case it, it didn't really matter you'll see that later so and then you just you know what you would do is put the print on there and, and when we did it when I did it I had a book on there 
and I just gave it as much pressure as I could for a while and then that's what you get you come out with this print like I said I think I actually used this one when uploaded because uh, it's just darker you know it's a better print and then the next step after that was you know the actual paintings so got this right here so this was watercolor you know by me by me by hand um, and the reason I did it like this is because okay first and foremost this paper I don't know if you guys can see it has some texture to it I mean, so I, I was trying to get as much texture in there you know I didn't want it to be I did not want it to be even though they have brushes in Photoshop you know I wanted it to look as real and natural as possible so I got this this watercolor paper uh, got the watercolors did this all you know this was like my first attempt really all these all the ones that I'm about to show you were like my first time ever dabbling in watercolor and I loved it after that but so essentially I knew what I had to to do so like that's what I did and you'll see how how I was thinking in my head later when I show you the rest of the process so uh, I knew that I needed a sky and I knew that I needed this brown you know the brown color to be filled down here in these pyramids so what I did was you know I just made me my two textures uh, next thing I did was uploaded it um, into Photoshop all of these you know I just took a picture with my phone it captures all the texture and, and uh, you know so then I upload those into Photoshop and you guys will see that process here in a second but before I show you you know I'll, I'll, I'll just show you the rest of them really quickly really briefly since you guys already know the process and like I said the next video you'll actually see me carving these things and doing it so uh, I'm, I'm excited for that I just need you know a little bit of time so the next ones you know like I said I'll show you where you already seen these so you got great wall night at Stonehenge and we'll start with the great wall So the Great Wall, same process. Yeah, I got my my sky. Sorry, got my sky. The the background of the grass. You know, we got that there. So you got the sky here, going here. You know, then this all was grass. You've seen them in the project probably. So you can see the clipping mask. How I do it later. And then we also have this, which was made for the the moon that you see in the actual NFT like I said I, I just did all this manually and just digitized it and then this is what you would see uh, on the actual great wall you'll see how we we faded the colors and and got the parts that we wanted inside on Photoshop so that's real brief like I said you can see the way that all this came together and then last but not least we have uh, how Stonehenge a night at Stonehenge. So this was the watercolor that uh, used to create the texture and background for the Stonehenge rocks. Like I said, you get just the way if you use watercolor, then this paper, and then depending on how you do it, you know, like you can get some really great texture in there. And that was the whole point. So then you know you got the block print from it. Um, then you'll see, like I said, we're gonna pull this stuff into Photoshop. And you got the sky and the the grass down there, the greens. Um, so you know these are the assets used for that. And I mean the whole point of this project. Um, well, let's just say not not the project in general, but the whole point of the clothing company is you know just really just trying to bring attention to to things and you'll see that later in more designs but like you know just representing the 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 inner of a person of of people that's the whole point of the astral uh the name astral you know if you know anything about the astral planes and are done any research i just heard of it you know what i'm saying like whatever then you understand that it's like a whole another world you know um and so you know within without wherever it's at this is kind of just trying to represent that in its art um and kind
kind of just the growth our tagline is transform and transcend um so it's just it's just all basing around you know getting eyes around thought-provoking imagery and and ideas you'll like i said you'll see more of that later in the designs but this was just really just trying to you know represent as good as possible what what we feel like an astral world would project uh you know feeling wise emotion wise and that's more what i'm trying to do in these particular ones you know because we we have these these great monoliths and things from the past so just bringing attention and thought provoking um just what it represents in human trans you know transcendence from from the past to now and things like that and this first project you know is is based on the wonders of the world just like i said to because of the art in general in it the the uh the ideas it brings you know the everything that comes along with it so you know that's just the whole idea of this so make that so i mean so now you know we'll go into i'll, I'll go into showing you guys how, how the layers are put up in photoshop and things like that so that was just a real brief you know behind the scenes like i said i can't wait to show you guys like to actually carve it and all that but uh, we'll get into the photoshop part all right guys so we're here in photoshop i'll show you guys real briefly uh, how the layers are set up in photoshop and you guys can kind of just see how i did it so so we'll take off this this top layer here is just for my levels and curves um you know just it it got a little blown out so what i did was just bring the color back to uh you know color corrected to what you see in real life how it was painted in real life so that's what that top level is there and this this is actually the the actual print you can see right here the actual print and i can turn that on and off and you can see this line right here right that is this layer right here so you can see i masked I masked out what was there. If not, you would see you would see that. So, you know, to keep this 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 for this background of the sand. So this is a layer right here, right? We got this layer going, and then let's say I put this on here, uh, but I want to you know mask out that top and put a different and and have this this layer on there. So you can just see kind of how. put this white so you guys can see it that was the reason of the white back there but you can see this layer uh, you know that's the whole layer there right but but once I put this in here um, you know I need to basically draw with the pen tool what I need to mask out and, and that's what I did here with this top part so I masked out the top part so you see that layer is the only the sky is the only part showing behind these cloud uh, pyramids here right so now to fill in the rest of, of what's not showing in this little pyramid part you know I filled in this so you guys can kind of see where my mind was when I was creating these these paintings uh, and what I was going to do with them like this is what I always had in mind there so that's how these were created like I said that top level curve or the top level it's just to get it more accurate to what it looked like in real life so you know that is that is how Giza was created there uh, one of my absolute faves like I think I want to blow this up at some wall art and put it in my house for sure um, and next we got the great wall so it was all really built the same these top levels these top levels are just trying to get it more accurate to the whole aesthetic uh, and we got these two layers which are my actual block print layers this layer right here is the moon and these are my background layers that I have so let's turn everything off I'll show you guys the background okay so we'll go to this one too so this is actually what you see in you know uh, I'll show you guys while they're on so you got this going right and so once we we turn that on you know we got that all blocked out to block out that what we want the grass on so you know without it without this mask on there we have this so you know then we, we mask what we want to mask boom we got that so then we'll add this other layer now we have that back there right uh, and this one didn't have to be masked but obviously I masked just to cover just to you know do it like 
looked like this. So we have, you know, that's how these layers were were on there, man. Um, you see, I just masked a bunch of stuff, some duplicate layers, and masked them, and then you get all this, you know, this this final product, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's just digitizing it and, and putting it where you want. So you know, we got this background layer, which I went ahead and added, you know, some levels to that too. And again, like I said, this is the masked out part of of what I painted. You see that? And we'll just boom, you know, just the way this is. Obviously, it was done in order to be able to see all this happen. But so, man, that's how the final art came together with these layers. Uh, like I said, the next video. Uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna you guys are gonna see me actually you know mask all these things and create the layers and do and all that right now I just wanted to show you guys give you a quick you know behind the scenes of of what this looks like and the process and you know so a lot of work goes into these from from the from the get-go from the non-digital stuff to the digital stuff you know it all takes time and and but it's fun I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'm able to do this for you guys uh, maybe you guys can get into it as well this is some of my favorite kind of art to create is block printing um, and some mixed multimedia stuff so